with things that you can only just see on the horizon. Um, I guess it's a way of linking the things you can touch with the things that you can only just perceive. And I like doing that and I like engaging people and I think there are two kinds of things going on. One are the inert silent sculptures and the other is what's happening on the ground and how people stop each other and say, hey, what's going on? You know, what's this guy? What's this silent guy? He's got no clothes on. What's he doing here? Oh my God, there's another one. And it was happening the whole time that we were doing the installation and it was incredible how open-minded and how engaged and how, well, generous-spirited the people of New York are. Um, I want to thank New York for this opportunity to ask, in a simple way, very big questions. What is the world? What's our place in it? And maybe getting people actively engaged in asking those questions and in a way being part of the picture. I mean, that's the big challenge for me. How do you take a bit of the real world and in a way render it subject to reverie? To think about this, the built environment, in a way as a picture of a world. And we being part of that picture. I want to thank Michael, the mayor of New York, and all his city officials for making this possible.